It's August 2016 and we're checking up on the old uh, sequoia trees at the old house and this is the old deer tree which seems to be doing pretty well. The fence is about four feet high and it looks like we've got at least three or four feet above that which will put the deer tree up maybe seven, eight feet tall. So it seems to be doing pretty well. Let's go look at some of the other trees. Here's seedling number one. It's grown a little bit too. It's maybe about five feet tall. Got a few dead branches, but it got enough live branches so it's doing real well. The deer tree is in the background on the right. Let's look at some of the other trees. Here's seedling number two, and it's probably seven feet tall. Give me a back up a little bit, make sure I get it all in view. Looking quite healthy. We have seedling number one and the deer tree in back to the right. Back up a little more. Have, have seedling number three hasn't grown as much, probably doesn't get as much water up here. At least it's on the little crest of a little hill so the water doesn't uh, drain in there as much, but it's still alive and growing. And probably a good five feet tall. And I don't think anybody's been watering the trees, so they're making it on their own. And here's hoping they'll continue to do so for a few hundred years into the future. So we'll walk back and look at all the trees. Here's seedling number three. Seedling number two. Say so these are all the giant sequoias. Seedlings numbers one, two, and three were all started from seed. Seedling number two, not quite as healthy as the others. And the famous deer tree. Which is doing real well. At least seven feet high, maybe eight. So there's a few giant sequoias growing here in southwestern Colorado.
it's again it's August 12 2016 and we've planted 12 sequoia trees the most recent planting is 12 sequoia trees at the new house uh, the original sequoia trees that we planted there's only four surviving and they're struggling but they're in rocky soil up on top of the ridge where they don't have a whole lot of groundwater and it's a dry climate and they're struggling. Now we just planted 12 others down here in the little gully that faces northeast. This is not going to dry out as quickly. So we're just going to document them and see how they do over the coming years. So here's the first tree. These are all maybe a foot or a little bit better than that high. And they're down in a little grove. They will get sun, some sunshine. If we look up, we can see that there's a lot of blue sky up above. So the sun will get down here some, but not all day long so they won't dry out. So in any case there's tree number one. Let's walk down the gully and see what we have for a little grove going. Okay we'll go over here. Some of these bushes nearby bushes have been sprayed so they're going to die back. And here we have tree number two. And we'll continue walking down. Tree number three. Again, the bushes right next to it have been were sprayed first. So they're gonna be dying off, which will leave some space for the the tree. There's tree number three, or seedling number three. And let's walk down the grove here a little further. And there's tree number four. And if we look over here, Tree number five. Tree number six. Again, the surrounding scrub oak and bushes were sprayed. They should be dying off and leave room for the new tree to grow. So let's see, we had one, two, three, four, five. And if we look over here, we have tree number six. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this is tree number seven. And and back over here, this is tree number six. And if we look down here, we have tree number eight. And we'll look a little further down through the rain. We're down the gully, so it's gonna ground should stay a little moister down here. Tree number nine. Tree number ten.
Tree number 11. And tree number 12. So we'll see how they go. I'll do it in reverse order, go back up the hill and see what it looks like. Let's get down here and look up the hill. We're looking up the hill, there's actually a clearing in the bottom of the gully here. So they will get at least partial sunshine. But uh, the advantage of being down in the gully, this faces northeastward, so it won't dry out as much. And two, it's in a little gully, so the ground will tend to stay a little bit more, more moist. So we'll see what happens now in reverse order. Tree number 12. Tree number 11. Tree number 10. Tree number 9. Tree number eight. Tree number seven. Tree number six. Tree number five. <clears throat> Tree number four. Tree number three. Tree number two. Tree number one. And we can look up the hill. Here's the house at the top of the hill. And the bare area in front of it we've got planted with columbines. Hopefully next year they'll start putting on a show. Got wires and Two concentric sections of wires and fencing around a couple of raspberry bushes. And that's our gardening attempt. <laughs>